Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and in today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to save time when you're adding titles to your Final Cut Pro X project. So let's just get into it. Um, so here we're looking at the, I guess, the title section, or uh, what would you call this? Uh, the section where you can select different types of titles. Usually I only stick to this basic title, that's what I use most of the time. And how I used to do it before, or maybe this how you used to, to adding titles, you come here and you drag the title over and yeah, and then you select this and you come over to the inspector and you change the font. You have to scroll down because sometimes if you start typing the the type the font you want, it goes to different places. So let's see, I have to drag I usually use Monster Rat and I make it extra bold and I bring up the size. There we go. I usually leave the tracking alone and the face. Um, basic white is fine. And that's what I have to do most of the time. But I was tired of doing all this all the time, especially when I'm adding multiple titles to a video. So I thought I would help you save some time. So let's start over again. And let's start by making this basic title my default. So if you right click, make default title, and now you can close out this uh, title window. Now to apply it to our timeline, you can hit the shortcut control T boom, it automatically adds the title in it. And by default is 10 seconds. You can't change the default uh, duration of this title within Final Cut Pro X. You have to do something different. And I'm going to show you in a little bit uh, how to do that. So anyways, we're here on our basic title. You Okay, let me go back and again, do my the settings I usually use. Where are you? Monster at extra bold. 85. Okay, I'll leave this alone. All right, so I want to save this as a preset. And what this is going to do is it's going to help me save time. Next time I don't have to do all of this. I can just come here up here. And as you can see, I've already have two saved and th th these are presets I already saved here. And to do that, you click on save format attributes, you name it. So you see I already named it uh, Mo months bold. I actually created two of them. So I'm going to cancel this. But if I go up here and select it, it's automatically going to do all these presets I had done before. And it's going to save it here under Final Cut Pro X. So next time you can just add your title with the with the shortcut control T and then go up here and select your preset and you're ready to go. So quick shortcut and scroll up and you're ready to go. And now you can type in whatever you you need to type in here. All right. So that's one way if you want to take this a step further um, and actually make the default duration and make a custom title, you can do that, but you have to do it in Apple Motion. If you don't have that program, then uh, you probably can stop here and this is not for you. But if you want to learn it, uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let, let's open up Motion. We're going to create a custom title using motion. And so if we here click here, final cut title, um, I wanted this to be 1080p because that's usually what I work on. Let's leave it at that. Um, I don't know if the frames per second matter when it comes to titles duration. I want it to be two seconds. I don't want it to be 10 seconds. So because that's usually what I do. So it, this depends on how you work. So let's open it up. And it adds this background. I don't want that background. Also, let's change this to fit. Um, now if we select the title, go to the inspector. Oh, look, and it's already the here dump for us. Monster at bold, it's at 48. Let's make this. Um, nine, let's say 90. And then we're going to align it in the center. And I only wanted to say type by default. And I want it to be right down the middle. Boom. That's the middle right there. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the tracking alone and also the, the color, the basic white's fine. That's all I wanted to do. I'm going to lock this project. Uh, that's it. We're ready to export. Is that easy? So we go to file, we're going to say 
save as, and I'm going to name this, uh, my, uh, Mo what's the name of the title? Mont's title. Let's name it that. And under category, I'm going to, I already created one called hashtag custom made because I already had made some before. So you can create a new category if you want. I'm just going to use what I had already created. So theme, you can make one if you want. I usually leave it at none and I don't select any of these. So if we just publish this, now we can close down a motion. And if we go back to Final Cut Pro X, just realize that sometimes you have to close down Final Cut Pro X and open it up up again uh, because sometimes you the the new title you created it might not show up but it is in this time I didn't have to close it down right here is the one we just created this my default monster is the one we created or wait no this is the one we created and this is the one I had created before they're basically the same thing so now I can make this my mont title our default again right click make default title let me close down the, the window and let me delete this title we had created before and if I hit control T there it added the default title we we just made in motion and it's you can see here it's two seconds beautiful and it's already everything it's filled in for us just how we want it it's down the center so that's basically it. That's how you make your own custom title with uh, Motion and add it to your Final Cut Pro X project. So pretty simple. Last thing, if you need to make changes to these titles, you can always right click, open in Motion, and it open in Motion. You can make the changes you want. You can, I don't know, make the tracking, extend the tracking or whatever you want, and then hit File, save close it down and it will automatically do it for you sometimes like i said you have to close down final cut pro x before those changes take effect so let me know guys if this is helpful if you have any questions please let me know um again this takes a little bit of time to learn i don't think it's too complicated but if you put in the work in, uh, in, in the front end it'll save some time later on especially if you're adding a lot of titles all right, so I uh, hope to hear from you. Let me know if any questions. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.